two captains. Ready, gentlemen. Son of Jay Surya to spin the coin. Heads is the call. Tails it is. But Sanat, you won the toss. Uh, what have you decided? I decided to bat first, Ravi. What do you think of the pitch? The pitch looks good wicket uh, today, Ravi. I hope it is a good batting track, and uh, we need to get some runs on the board. What sort of score would you be happy with? Oh, that you can't say, but we need much more than what we got in the earlier game. Good performance against uh, New Zealand in the opening game, but you cannot afford to be complacent. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the batsmen, all the batsmen, have a lot of responsibility today to get big score on the, the board. Uh, I hope uh, they will do their best. And your team for today's game? I got the same team we played against the New Zealand. Good luck for today's game, Sanat. Well, Sarov, you lost the toss. Uh, you fielding again? Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah, it's a bit unlucky to lose the toss, but this looks a better surface than the last game. Uh, you just can't bother about the surface, but just keep on playing. Well, you'll be disappointed with that effort and the boys will come out stinging today. Yeah, absolutely. We played poorly the last game, especially with our batting. And we played a good last half this game. And your team for today's game? Well, we've got uh, Ashish Nair right? in, un injured. And we've got Mohanty playing in place of him. And Badani has been rested for Karasi. Pretty decent crowd having turned up here. Good atmosphere building up. Sri Lanka already have played a game and won it. India have still to register a win and a point. Jay Surya will take first strike. Sahir Khan on his way. Yeah, and that ball was traveling. Good piece of fielding by Yuvraj. It was on to him in a flash. Ideal line would be to look, get the ball back in from off stump, outside the off stump, into the left hander. It's got two slips in place. That's gone. Like a tracer bullet to the boundary. Room for Jay Surya. And take that. Gone's an understatement, Ravi. We have not seen a ball hit harder than this. He got the width he was wanting. Look, he uh, didn't mind going up and under the ball. One bounce over point. Scintillating stroke from Jai Saria. Well, this is just the kind of shot for the start the crowd wants to see. It's already built up here. Edged, not carrying. That indecision, slight indecision from Gunavardhana whether to come forward or to stay back. Good length here from Zahir getting the ball uh, bullish. It's not quite full enough, but the seam was bowled upright, and that's what uh, induced the edge. First thing that uh, you've got to do when you see the ball drop short of the slips is they're digging. the dig The wicketkeeper must come up, must come up two or three feet. There's no point the ball dropping short. You're better off uh, taking it at head height. That is the worry for Mahanti now. Good stroke. He's uh, bowled a lot straighter in this over and uh, been picked off by Jaya Saria. Scary signs for the Indians when Jaya Saria is hitting both sides of the wicket. It is a nightmare for the fast bowler. Brand new ball, good pitch. This is well played. Allowed the ball to come onto the bat. He's got a great record against the Indians and Ajay Surya. Vijayvardhana is now standing at square leg. Th Vijayvardhana. Good experience this for the local empires. Smashed hard and Ganguly has done well. Almost carrying to him. Yes, nearly holding out here. It's a disappointing stroke again. Leaning back on the stroke. Not getting forward and getting over the top of it. He's lucky it didn't go all the way. He was out in similar fashion in the game against New Zealand.
smashing shot again, just using the bowler's pace, getting the placement right. Second boundary for Jayasuriya. Again, Zahir just too short today, unlike against New Zealand in the opening overs. Jayasuriya just needs a fraction of length to use. What he does, he hops too, he gets up over the ball, lifts himself off the ground. Very agile, good footwork there, lovely hands through the ball as well. Boundary number two. Jai Serena is now striking at 110. That's the catching position. And what does Jai Serena do? He goes over the top. One bounce over cover. Effortlessly played. Well, hold on to your seats for the Indian bowlers. This ride might be a rocky one. That is magnificent. Again, one bounce. Not a bad delivery at all. Zahir cannot be faulted. But the magnificent of Jai Saria is apparent right there. I wouldn't expect them to be here early on today. Oh, it's in the air. Oh, he's dropped him. He's dropped him. That was a big opportunity. India need a breakthrough here. It went flying away. It would have been a fantastic catch. Saywag, the man there, trying to get his arms, both his hands to it, but failed. When uh, the openers are in such a mood, you have to cling on to the sharp chances that flew to the field of Sewan, but uh, sort of got his hands to it and let it slip through. India need to cling on to catches such as this. It is uh, these catches that win matches for you. And it is a big miss. So one chance for Guna Wadana. He'll be out there a little later on today. Oh, he's hit that one high. Is it going to go all the way? He's got it. Well, yes, it's gone all the way for six. Sanachai Surya is entertaining this big crowd here today. That looked as if it was going uh, higher than it was going far. But it went far enough. A magnificent strike by Sanat Jayasuri. They're picking that one over mid wicket. Not very many could do that against um, a quicker bowler. You can see the full flow of the bat and hitting it in the meat. 32 wickets in three test matches at 17 apiece. Best figures of 8 for 84. Wonderful performance. I think he was a bit a bit far forward there, pushing at it. Not out, says uh, umpire Peter Manuel. Good delivery, mind you. A little bit of curve in that one. Very good delivery. A little bit of drift as well, but one got the feeling that Jayasuri was hit slightly outside of stump. And uh, there you are. That's uh, the match. You could see where Jayasuri's front foot is. Just slightly out. And Jayasuri was, in fact, playing a shot. Yes, you can see that, just hitting him just outside the line. Close call, mind you, good bowling. Um, an average of 59 and an economy rate of 5. So not quite as good a time against the Australians in the one days. Oh, that's got to be close. I don't know that he's out. This will be a close call. I tell you what, Jai Surya got his bat back very quickly. This will be a big wicket for India if they've got him. His feet were out of the ground. And there is the bales. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. The bales are broken. That's the end of Sanachai Surya. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the umpire down the other end is signaling wide. So, Jai Surya out. Stumped. Brilliantly stumped. That really was good work. Absolutely great work by the Indians. Jai Surya's head falling over slightly, losing balance, and Diggy was there in a flash. Jai Surya certainly hasn't got his back, back on time. You could see the the stumps down, Jasuria's bats out, and Jasuria is gone. There's no doubt about that. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful work by Digay. That's the end of Sanat Jasuria. I think he realizes he's about to take his uh, his gloves off. I don't know why this is taking so long. This is definitely out. That's a marvelous bit of work by the Indians. Arbhajan Singh, supported by the wicketkeeper. Excellent take, and he whips the bales off.
Yes, let's have the red light. Yes, the bales are gone way away uh, in the air. Right, there's uh, another one. It's uh, Garmini Silva, the uh, third umpire. Just a little bit mystified why he's taking so long over this. He, he's obviously seen something I haven't seen. And the red light comes on as we expected. And uh, smiles on the faces of the Indians. Sri Lanka, 48 for one. Marvin Atapahu batting at number three here for Sri Lanka. Now, can he keep this momentum going? 4.11 runs per over scored at the moment. He's uh, a right-hander, obviously, an average of 37. He'd like to improve that a little bit. Strike rate of 65, nothing to write home about, but uh, is a good cricketer and capable of uh, improving on those figures. No doubt about that. Endless um, different kinds of curries. Runs whipped away down towards fine leg, and uh, I think it's going to go to the boundary before. Yes, that'll uh, relieve the, uh, the pressure a little bit for Guna Wadhana. Guna Wadhana just picking that one on the onside and uh, flicks it away very firmly. It'll certainly relieve him. In fact, um, he's been tied to the shackles for a while. Well played. Yes, Bactad has got him. Peter Manuel says, yes, that is uh, clearly out. Wonderful bowling again. Good captaincy from Ganguly having the man close. And this game is turning. Our Bhajan Singh is on song. He's really flowing like a river over here. Unstoppable. Our Bhajan Singh, disconcerting bounce. And another big wicket. Bat and pad. And it lobs. It's a real dolly. Russia is not going to miss out on that. Atapatu departs. Two pillars of strength for Sri Lankan cricket have departed. And they are really on the move. 60 for two. Two wickets down now. Sri Lanka have lost uh, Jaisari and Atapatu. And Jaya Wardner is uh, just marking his guard now. Age 24, fine player. 79 matches. Uh, not the best of average when you consider that he has that a real ability to get uh, the big hundreds. Uh, his performance against India is a little better than his career in terms of his average. 33 there, strike rate of 86.9 and the best of 128. Don't need a rattlesnake over here to prove that he's a fighter. I think it shows the way he plays his cricket. He'll fight to the last ditch. That's what you can be sure of when you're talking of Ricky. It's a valuable attribute. Big out. Yeah, he's got him. Yeah, brilliant. Fighter he is. And a destroyer as well. Jaya Warden are going for a slash outside the off stump. He's got a little tickle. And brilliant keeping from Digger again. Indians really relentlessly maintaining that pressure. Have a look at that fighter. The rattlesnake stings over here. Short. And he's played away from the body. Bottom edge. On your bike. That's what he says. Wicket number three for India. Jai wouldn't have gone without scoring. 61 for three now. Here comes the little man. Hello with Arana. 162 matches. Strike rate of 80. He is a fine player. Used to coming in though uh, at the top of the innings. And this will be a pressure time for him. Yep. He's not settled at all in 16 overs at the crease. Better stroke. In fact, his best by far just picked it up and swung it away and some relief for Sri Lanka Sodi on this occasion erring in line should be bowling off stump line on and around the off stump on this occasion it's leg stump very quick to seize on the opportunity Guna worth it and he's really dispatched it in style picked it on the up found the spot Uh, on uh, Jay Surya and Marvin Atapatu. They're the ones who play the sheet anchor role, play the beginnings. So they're really in a soup without those two. They've been the centrifugal force of Sri Lankan cricket. Good stroke. Magnificent. 
and no dive there from uh, the Indian fieldsman. Can't quite pick it up. There it is, Dravid. No commitment at all. I'm not sure if John Wright will be happy there. Dunu Verdana certainly has taken a liking to Dibbly Dobbly Sodi over here. No real pace. Plant your foot forward and play through the line. And he's found the gap. The crowd loves it. The Maria band loves it. That's in the air, but struck powerfully inside out. He's picked his spot, Dunu Verdana. That's a powerful strike. No half measures on that occasion. Harvajan on this occasion pitching it up and Guru Vardhana giving it the full flow and the key here is he picked the length very well and as Ravi mentioned there was no halfway house here he decided to go straight away Guru Vardhana still there on 37 and he's on strike to Sodhi That's in the air drop Yuvraj Singh, the fielder there. That was it hard, but it should have been taken. Short and wide, and Guru Vardhana gave it the full cut straight to Yuvraj, and that's into his midriff. A fielder of Yuvraj, called uh, standard, normally would have just pocketed it. Now, the problem he had here, it went in that height where he wasn't sure whether to have the fingers pointing down while taking the catch or the fingers pointing up. In the end, the ball came out. And a lucky reprieve for Gunavardhana. That struck powerfully through the offside. That's a lovely shot from Gunavardhana. One of the best he's played. So he's making the Indians pay for those drop chances. That's an absolutely beautiful shot. Gunavardhana, who normally doesn't move his feet on this occasion, got the right foot to the pitch of the ball. Free flow and found the gap. A good shot from Gunawardana, which will give him more confidence. So the hundred coming up for Sri Lanka with that single. There was a scream from DG for the ball to be sent to his end because Kaluvitarna was off to a late start, but Dravid had a go at the stri non striker's end and that saved the day for Kaluvitarna. You could see Kaluvitarna going back and the DG giving it the big scream, but the throw going to the wrong. That's cut away into the gap. Excellent place from Gunawardana. That will bring up his half century. He's had to work hard for his runs, but he's concentrated well. That would give him tremendous satisfaction. 83 balls for his 51 runs, which has seven fours in it. And this was a real beauty. He got not only picked the line, he picked the length, waited for his for it, and placement was just superb. Fourth half century in one day internationals for tall left hander. They all get shy, don't they? Oh, good shot. Right off the meat of the bat. Take that into the fence. He goes. Look at Kalu flexing his muscle. Smashes it away behind point for four. That shot would boost Kalu's confidence no end. That's the shot he likes to play, the width, and he puts it away. End of the over, 119 for three. So, again, well played by Kaluvitana. The crowd just ecstatic, enjoying this fine display by Kaluvitana. We're going to be just a little bit disappointed with Gunawadana. He's got himself to 63. He needed to make 100 here for Sri Lanka today. Great opportunity for him. But unfortunately, he's uh, trying to play. A very good timer of the ball, plays a sweep shot well too. This is uh, the wicket again. Just watch him back away here. That ball hit middle and it may actually have even hit delivery. On a looking to run, hit across that, and uh, missing it completely. Under the over one quarter for four.
Lucas Rasolano is looking to hit across the line, just pushing it across the line. Ball spinning. That's well fielded. There's a mix up here. This has got to be a run out. Oh, yes. That's a powerful strike by Arnold. And just look at that fielding. Brilliantly picked up. And Arnold scampering back, but to no avail. He's a few yards up. That's the end of Russell Arnold. Disappointing way to go. Run out. Lousy way to get uh, to get out in one day at the Nationals. On goes the red. Jugrad Singh continuing. An appeal for a catch here. The finger has gone up. Jugrad Singh has got a wicket. Again, Sri Lanka lose uh, their wickets in bunches. Beautiful bowling from uh, Yuvraj. Masena has just got one. Still as many as 14 overs remaining. This is how Kalu Vitarna went, looking to hit on the up. Getting the outside edge about that. Hit in front of his stumps on the pole. He surprised the left-handers with this delivery. The finger went up straight away from Peter Manuel. And Sri Lanka. Deep, deep trouble at the stage. One five five for seven. It's back up. I agree with you over there because uh, it might not look a uh, very big total, but given the state of the pitch and the outfield, this one is an incredibly good shot. He's found its spot to perfection. He's made room. He's chipped it over covers for four. Not an easy shot to play on a slow, sluggish surface. He's managed it well, and the crowd loves it. They've gone berserk. Yes, Dimezina enjoyed this as well. He's a good player, actually. Once he gets going, he's been um, a real nuisance down the order for a lot of bowlers over the years, and this was lovely. A lovely strike of the ball there, right off the middle. There he goes again. This one straight to the fielder. I love children also. Children show man what morning shows. Yes. Children shows man, and this is whack through point. He's found the spot to perfection. Really timed that very well. There's room for the batsman. He's freed his arms. He's laid into it, and he's timed it to perfection. That's as sweet as candy. It certainly is. Just uh, having a look at his performance so far, 19 of 20, that's not a bad effort. And uh, here he is, 17, not out of 21, having to come in down the order and do his stuff. The Sri Lankan flag is flying. In the attempt at the Yorker, nicely played, that's beautifully played, that's a wonderful shot. Right off his toes, he's whipped it away to the mid-wicket boundary. I think Darmasina has got a pretty good bat in his hand there. That did sound so sweet. Yes, he's timed it very sweetly. It's as sweet as a tutti fruity, but he's given him a full toss. All the time in the world for Darmasena to really pick a spot and dispatch it in style. He's done very well. Yes, what a good job he's doing, Darmasena. He's not finished yet either. He's on 26. And, uh, of course, he's going to play an important role with the ball as well. 200 up, 204 for 7. This is the 48th up. A full toss. Oh, this is out. This is going to be out. It's gone straight up. Ganguly is it underneath it. Yes, he's taken it. No trouble at all. Ganguly doesn't drop those. That's a pretty important wicket. But the under it's understandable, Yeri. The Sri Lankans had a go for absolutely everything. Well, yes. It's always difficult to dispatch a full toss. And he's hit it a mile into the air. That one could have really got an air hostess with it. Yes, it was up for a long time. I'm just not too sure that it wasn't just above waist high, in which case uh, it should have been called. We'll come back and have another look at it. Darma Cena, a useful co contribution there, 26. Sri Lankans, 205 for 8. It's just going to be a difference of those 10 and 15 runs. And he's muffed it up. Samir Dige has muffed up a stumping chance at a very crucial juncture over here. Yuvraj Singh is disappointed. 
Yes, he, uh, he should have got this. It's, it's not easy. None of them are easy. And I think he's done a very good job so far today. But when he has a look at that replay... Oh, he's hit that one. That's going all the way. That's a big six. What a good shot in the circumstances. Magnificently played. Not a very clever delivery there. Whacked away the right off the meat of the bat. This Pereira is having a pretty good Sunday afternoon. And he's lashed onto his reprieve. The ball was short. So when you pitch short over here, it's a slow pitch. You're a dead duck. He's got all the time in the world to rock back onto the back foot and dispatch it with his gain. Over the top she goes. That one just outside off stump. Through to the keeper. Digay that time latches onto it. No trouble at all. That six just makes uh, that miss stumping just that little bit worse. This is the miss stumping. There she goes between bat and pad. He fumbled it. Then uh, it went away for six. And that one's gone straight to mid-wicket. Ganguly into the action again. As safe as a house. Well, that was a gem of a little innings from Pereira. Another short delivery. I tell you what, Yuvraj Singh was lucky to get away with that. He's hit it straight like a rocket to Ganguly. who's caught it. Yes, it's once again pitched short, but on that occasion, simply didn't get the elevation and finds the man. Right, so Suresh Pereira, 28 or 31, it's 211 for 9. Two hundred and eleven for nine. Bilhara Fernando playing it away on the offside for a single. I think the plan here is to give it uh, to Mufaya Murli Diran. He's done the right thing. He's given the strike to Mufaya Murli Diran. He's the senior partner, and that on that occasion he failed to get the elevation. It was a short delivery, a rank shot delivery. Could have dispatched it anywhere. That should be the strategy. Yes, that or a full toss. He's produced a full to few full tosses or a short one. They're going for it, and he hasn't got the ball. Zai here trying to get across. Uh, Moodley not giving an inch. He's quite a tough little customer, Mathiah Moodley did it. He doesn't give any room here at all. Watch him, he goes straight, he even comes in, actually. Yes, Mathiah Moodley did it. Very clever, as wily as a fox, trying to evade a direct hit onto the stumps. Come on, Mathiah Murli did and smash this straight back down the ground for six. Let's have a look at it. Oh, he's got it away. He's got it away for four. They're no tinkers. They're no tinkers. He smashed it for four. Well, you said it was going to be a six. It's only a four. There's a difference of two runs, Tony. Lovely shot, actually. A little bit of room, wasn't it, really? He just backed away right off the middle of the bat the question now is yes watch him go there a little bit of room right off the middle of the bat when he gets him he gets him and uh, that was nicely played Zaha here not happy with it the intent was to fire a yorker but he's straight in line misdirected yorker over there a juicy full toss and dispatched in disdain Yes, yeah, so that's the end of the Sri Lankan innings, 221 for nine. Uh, a good lead innings by Sanat Jayasuriya. He played better today. Well, yes, he, he was looking very ominous, and I think it was those crucial wickets at the start. The wickets tended to fall in a heap. There was a nice little partnership. They got on to 45, and then those two wickets, Marvana Tapatu and Sanat Jayasuriya, departing in quick succession. That put on the brakes for the Sri Lankan, but eventually... It was a nice little cameo for, of 26 from Dharmasena and Suresh Pereira, boy, he really took the cake with a red cherry on top. 28 from 31 deliveries. It was well, well done. It certainly was down the order there. These are the uh, Indian bowling figures again. Habajan Singh, who really is uh, now a very important part of this uh, bowling lineup, coming on first change before the 15 overs were finished, ends up three for 29. So he's really doing well in this tournament, uh, having a, a marvellous Coca-Cola Cup. Thank you, Tony. So the target for India, 222. 50 overs at 4.4, four runs per over to get it. Shaman Navas, he'll start the proceedings uh, for the Sri Lankans. I guess he's somewhere in the dressing room. But Kurasia on strike now.
He can be a dangerous player in the first 15 overs. And Kurasia is on his way. A cracking start there, over pitch from Was, and he's found the boundary. It's a good stroke, this. The first four balls he's played there with the greatest respect. He's got himself in, even though it's only the first over. He's had a little look, and then he's got one that's just swung away. Good foot movement towards the ball, good momentum into the shot. And uh, you can't fault the start. Set you batting. Edged and just between the wicketkeeper and first slip and away to the fence for four. Looked to be the slower ball, 114 Ks. And when you take the pace off the ball, it's bound to drop short. His first slip was wide. And Kalu Vikarna here had to go, but go for it. Russ here early into the shot. Just not getting down in time. The ball actually going under the left glove. Impossible for Jayvardhana to take it. Yeah, looking for the pull, he's got it into the gap. He's picked the length up quickly. That will find the boundary. That's the first real aggressive shot from Yuvraj Singh. This is one heck of a shot. He wasn't that short, he did stand his ground and just hit it at the top of the bounce. Nice head position. Kept really still there with the head. And then through... Uh, the execution of the pull was able to then swivel. That's a lovely stroke. The timing is exquisite. The placement go to second boundary of the over. 24 for no loss, India. That was an excellent stroke, so a good over there for Yuvraj. Fast just a little short. Just too short. Got to get the batsman coming forward more. So that's an excellent... I think that was Russell and his brother Terry. In the air, taken! Pereira has struck. Murli Dharan, the catcher. And the crowd has come alive here. Sri Lanka have drawn first blood. And the reaction on Yuvraj Singh has just told the story. His head went down straight away. He just didn't commit himself to the stroke. He just lifted it. A comfortable catch to Murli Dharan. Yuvraj is taking a long time to get off the ground as a 19-year-old. He is stunned. 26 for one. BBS Lakshman comes out to the center. India 26 for one. Target not really a big one, but competitive. Pereira here continuing. Wrapped on the pads. The finger has gone up very quickly. That look come to me. Double blow here for the Indians. Pereira striking this time. And both the openers dismissed. Watch the ball coming in. It's pitched on line. That would have taken center stick. No problems there for the umpire. Russia was a dead duck. Even the umpire enjoyed it. You could see the smile on his face. Surprise, surprise. Harbhajan Singh comes out to the center. That means the Indian captain will come at number six. That's in the air. And that's out. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. No wonder Sonata Surya is uh, is laughing it was a little lollipop well that certainly hasn't worked Habajan 
is on his way. The Indians are playing into the Sri Lankans' hands. You could see Harbhajan Singh. He came with an intention of hitting the bowling away, but only manages to hit it straight to Sanat Jayasuriya. A very soft dismissal. And aren't the Sri Lankans delighted? That's in 30 for 3. Saurav Ganguly, the captain of India, batting down the order today. That's nicely played, and that's beaten Madoff, that's four. Saurav Ganguly has got his first boundary away. You watch the Sri Lankans here, just tense up a little bit. They know the dangers that come in the form of Ganguly. That really was a beauty. It was in the slot and Ganguly was quickly onto it. You could see the timing absolutely exquisite. And that demonstrates what he's capable of. Doesn't give the field any chance whatsoever. Driving all along the ground. Well, that's well played. Beautifully struck right into the gap as well. well. I can tell you when he starts to go. He is a superb player. That was effortlessly played. It was a half volley, mind you, and he dispatched it away nicely, but uh, he's a lovely timer. Oh, magnificent shot. And the manner in which he hit it into the gap, that showed class. So everything in position, and that left the fielder standing. There was no stopping it. Nicely in the slot, but Lachman is just equal to the task. 50 for three. Oh, good bouncer. Very, very good bouncer. No ball called. He's going to have to rebowl that one. But boy, sort of uh, had to be a little bit quick there. This is obviously a strategy they're adopting. Have a look at that. Oh, this is really good. Straight and right at his Adam's apple. This is the type of delivery that would unsettle any batsman, despite the fact that it was a no ball. So there's always going to be some sort of doubt in the batsman of the batsman's mind. Ganguly just drawing away the last minute, taking his eyes off the ball, in fact. Yeah, I thought he did pretty well to get out of the way there. And another short ball, and that's out, that's caught behind, it hit something. No, says umpire Peter Manuel. Well, there was definitely a noise there. Whether it hit the glove or not, I'm not too sure. Ganguly seems to me to have a slightly guilty look about him. He's got away with it. It's all over. We'll come back and have a look in a moment. 51 for three. And that is the question. Well, I tell you what, it's very difficult to see. There was a spontaneous response from behind the stumps. No, says umpire Peter Manuel. Let's have a look. Did it hit the bottom of the bat? Well, if it didn't, it was very close to it. Very hard to tell from that angle, but uh, it was only the bat and the gloves that were near the ball. We'll leave it to you, those of you in the lounge room, to make up your minds. Take over in the commentary box now. Martin Crow and Nav Johnson to do. Thank you, Tony. Well, interesting. This this could be uh, a defining moment of the match. Did it flick the glove. Certainly seemed to go under the bat, but the gloves, the red part uh, on the index finger there. And in the end, if the umpire is not, uh, if he's got any doubt, he gives it to the batsman. This occasion, Ganguly survives. And if you uh, choose to have more than two outside the circle, you can on the boundary. In the air and through the covers. Found the gap. There's uh, five fielders in that cover region. Ganguly's uh, peeled a very good four off here. 15 overs gone, 59 for three. So playing Mushtak at the top there, 200 and... Uh, seven runs it uh, should be wickets of course Straight play to 29 good stroke last ball of the over and uh, Ganguly puts away a loose delivery from Murley Duran beautiful stroke from Laxman don't forget this fella effortless and classical in his execution hardly moved just a little press forward the bat 
swinging through below the eyes, just timing and placement. That was as sweet as candy. That is sheer grace. He's waited for the ball. He's just timed it to perfection. What is batting without grace? It's like a bait without a hook, Martin. Good delivery, big shout, and he's got it, yeah, just a little tickle. Laxman can't believe it. He's going, where did that come from? It didn't seem to be any obvious deviation. Couldn't pick up any sound, but the reaction of the Sri Lankans to a man was uh, emphatic. And uh, Peter Manuel said, you're on your bike and out of here. A peach of a delivery, really got big on him, climbed on him. No room to play that shot, but it's very difficult to tell you whether it did nick the bat. But his expression tells you all, a dazed look on uh, Lakshman's face, he's not happy at all. But India 71-4, really tottering and struggling at this stage of the game. Now then, Rahul Dravid, that is a heck of a record as well. Nice breeze blowing across the ground. That should be comforting for the players. Conditions have been hot and humid. And once again, Ganguly rocking back onto the back foot and uh, timing it nicely. Every time Muliran has uh, pulled on the shorter side, the batsman has had enough time to do that. Muliran dropping it short. Ganguly taking the length very quickly. He didn't try to hit the ball too hard was more interested in the placement maybe they should have pushed for another run there that's a good bit of fielding by fernando for some if not the most now that's a fine shot he waited on it gangoli that's beaten the man in the deep so welcome boundary here for india 100 coming up to that shot. And that's broken the shackles of it. A lovely shot by Saurav Ganguly here. Second time he's put Murali Dharan away in this region. Murali dropping it in short and Ganguly well over it. What he needed was the width. He got it and that's one of his quality. Doesn't need a second invitation. Sure about the extent of the turn. That's gone in the air, the field for the catch. He's gone past the outside edge once again. 27 gone, 100 for four. It's good over there from Muthaya Mulidran. He went for a boundary but came back well with two good deliveries to Saurav Ganguly. Every time he's pitched the ball up and drawn the batsman forward, he's looked dangerous, especially to the left-handers. Now, this is the last ball of the previous over. Again, going past Ganguly. Big turn, the bat hitting the ground, that was the sound. the length he'll be looking to bowl Kalu Vitarna well he's uh, not going to miss out on anything he's going to take a chance here it's put up in the air and it's gone for four so that's a welcome boundary for the Indians Ganguly making use of that delivery string on the leg side yeah, short, very short, and uh, Ganguly actually was down the pitch and heaved it away, and almost uh, as if it was premeditated. It wasn't far off the fieldsman down there. You can see he was down at him, and uh, because it wasn't quite there, he just heaved it over in the direction of square leg. He was a sweet hitter of the ball, Salab Ganguly. Plenty must be going through the brain of Sanat Surya. He needs a break at this stage. Oh, he's having a go at that one. That's a way, way back. That's a big hit. That's way into the crowd. That's the biggest six we've seen in the Coca-Cola Cup. Way down over the deep, wide, long on boundary. Hey, we're ducking for cover down there. 
Saurav Ganguly certainly has his own ideas. You look at the use of the feet and the strike. Just soaring high, handsome for six. Superbly timed and clearing the ropes by many a yard. Perfectly timed, beautiful struck. That was an incredibly elegant shot. You can see that he's always strong on the offside and square on the offside. That 19 and 14, that is always Ganguly's area. Oh, that's down the ground as well. That's well struck by Ganguly too. What a good shot. Straight as a die. Straight down the ground. Umpire Peter Manuel singles four. It couldn't have been that far away from the rope. This is Ganguly as, at his best. You could see he gave himself the room for the elevation and just went straight over. One bounce into the picket. Fine use of the feet and uh, struck it with a lot of composure. I've got to say, I thought that might have been over the rope. My initial reaction was it was about a, a metre over the uh, over the rope. Let's see if we can pick it here. Seven overs for 22 for Mulligan. So three left. He'll continue. Other options as Delera, Fernando, then the fast bowlers Pereira and Vaz. Ganguly down the track, smashes it away at pass cover. Excellent use of his feet once again. Get the ball on the full and dang it past the right hand of cover. Electric footwork there. That was the key to it. He got quickly to the pitch of the ball. Got it on the full. Negated all the spin. All the rotations in the world weren't going to stop that from going for four. And that's with Sri Lanka. They've got to try and chalk together just a couple of overs where they keep India from scoring a boundary. In the air, taken! Missed. The pressure beginning to show. Dharma Sena has done the job for his captain and his country. This is a big, big wicket. Ganguly, who's looking so good, getting a top edge. And India have lost their fifth wicket. Hysteria here in Brimadasa. The gloves are off. And India now go down for the count. They are now under the gun, big time. Fine innings from Ganguly. Truly magnificent under great pressure. He's gone for 69, that's 151 for five. Ritendra Sodhi comes out to the center. India have just lost their fifth wicket, that of their captain, Saurav Ganguly. I mentioned Dharma Sena got the breakthrough. It was Russell Arnold, actually. But what an important wicket from Sri Lanka's point of view. Now he's a fighting cricketer. This is how it happened. And firing this in. Ganguly getting the top edge. And the Sri Lankan captain was there to catch his counterpart. This is a big, big blow because Ganguly had batted beautifully for his uh, 69. Paced the innings well. It's a little bit of a mistake. Got to keep your composure. Mistake from Murali Duran instead. They'll pick up two here. Boy, that is a bad miss. And what would have been a terrific over. They've now conceded five. 159 for five. Something you don't see often. He's one of the best fielders in the Sri Lankan outfit. He's taking his eyes off the ball. Obviously, something else occupying his mind. Heaved away, and just shot of the man at deep mid wicket. Kunawardana was the fielder there. So be deciding to give the charge. That's the way he plays. Doesn't mind going after the spinners and hitting a big one early on. Difficult though on the scram to uh, clear the fielder. You've got to be careful when. Uh chipping that's pulled away in style and he's found the gap on the onside this is a good boundary for the Indians so getting his first what would you ask him to do if you're captain uh, Martin look for the wicket or try and uh, contain at the stage Definitely wicket, definitely let the, give the ball some air. Trying to get it to dip and bounce, to get the batsman hit under it. Bowling! What a beauty! That'll do. Fast.
stop break, absolutely ripping the heart out of Sodi. Heavens above, the roof has come off the stadium. What a delivery from Mulliveran. Slight change in pace. It was pitched further up than so they expected, but look at the turn. It's come back a mile, crashed into middle stump. A Sri Lankan champion spinner has struck. India have lost Sodi. And the sixth wicket, 178 for six. Virenda Sevag is the new man out here for the Indians. Big moment for him. He doesn't have a great average, as you saw there, but uh, he's one player who can make a mockery of the situation on hand at the moment. And he's here because of this classical dismissal. Preetan the Sodi paid the ultimate price by playing Musaya Muralidharan. There he goes, he's hit that in the air, this is going to be our court. We won't drop this, no he won't. A wicket has fallen. Suresh into the action again. The Sri Lankans in the stadium are on their feet. This game is still alive and well. It's not over yet. Well, the Indian game plan was loud and clear. Dravid was going to stay there, he was going to play the sheet anchor. The others were going to rally around him and go for it. Swirinda Sewa going for a six on that occasion. The ball didn't come on. And he's holed out at mid-off. The ball didn't come on and the wily old fox has foxed him. India really struggling. The odds are swaying. It is swaying like a pendulum. Right, so that's the end of Sewagat for 12, 200 for 6. Really has held his nerves for me to get chip that one over cover with the spin. Oh, well bowled, well bowled. No wicket though. That was a magnificent delivery. He's very good at this Jaya Surya, firing it into the leg stump. He saw him coming. It was a premeditated step out on that occasion. And that is a very close escape for Samir Dege. Just survives to live another day. It's I think the drive it'll be, he'll take whatever he can get. If it's up there, he'll go for the boundary. Otherwise, he's just got to make sure he gets a run or two. Oh, great bowling, great bowling. What a delivery, and a misfield. And the batsman doing the right thing. Jaya Saria spun around, almost as if to say, don't you dare run. But I've got to tell you that the Indian down that far end wasn't going to run anyhow. He's, he's cramped him for room. Drive it really pushing back, making room. And he's done him in. He's done him in. And Kalu, Kalu Vitana has muffed that up. But it doesn't matter. So it's one more over to go. 210 for seven, Sri Lanka. This is certainly going down to the wire. Yes, um, that really was a bad miss. It was a full toss. I think, I think probably what happened there is that you can see him throw his bat down. I think his hand slipped down the handle as he tried to play the shot. You can see his hand came off the bat. And, uh, yeah, that's very disappointing for him. Now, this is very interesting, um, Nav John. Have a look at this. His hands come off the bat. It's been fumbled. Driver doesn't often lose it. He loses it here a little bit. The, the reason for his hand coming off the bat, look at this. He throws his bat down. He should have thought of changing his gloves before that over. It's too late. Yes, these are sultry conditions. There's a lot of perspiration. And those wet gloves really is going to rule that fact. And it's so very crucial because that delivery, had he got a boundary, there would have been far less pressure. Well, that's too late in the day. Now the boundaries have dried out. Diggy steps oh, out, he's one. got it up. One's gone. Will, he, be will he catch it? That's a brilliant take. No, he's dropped it. 
It's all happening here at the Premadasa Stadium. I can tell you, anybody in the stadium could have a heart attack. Yes, he should have caught this one, I'm afraid. Let's have a look. He got his hands on it all right. Perhaps just a little bit slow. That's Jai Wadana down there. Right, uh, what have we got down to now? Nine to get off two balls. And you know what's done it for them? It's the ability to bowl good balls in those last two or three overs, perhaps even four overs. The odd dot ball, the odd one that's right in at the block hole. It only needed one bad one. That's the end of that. What a match we've seen here. Just a single. In comes the throw. Sri Lanka have won their second Coca-Cola Cup match here in Colombo. Well, they may have won it, and they are indeed happy. But it's that old cliche, I think, that need, we need to call upon today. Cricket has very definitely been the winner. Definitely. It was a keenly contested game over here, but the Sri Lankans, full credit to them, they've held their nerve. They were ice cool in very difficult conditions, and above all, they've risen to the occasion. Full marks to the Sri Lankans for well-fought India. And of course, uh, from the uh, Sri Lankan point of view, they're the bowling figures. A good performance, a really good performance by Suresh Pereira, two for 26. Right now, first thing to do is to have a chat to uh, the unfortunate captain who didn't win the match today. So if uh, Sorov Tanguli could come over here, I'd be grateful. Well, I think there were a lot of people hoping we wouldn't be interviewing you first today. Uh, a good game of cricket, though. Yeah, we lost again, we should have won, uh, but all credit to the Sri Lankans who played good cricket. Uh, they stuck to the end, they held their nerves, and we won today. Where do you think you lost it, Sora? Well, we got them at 155 for seven, uh, and letting them score 220, we gave them a few, uh, about 10, 20 extra runs, and then we needed six and over with five, four wickets in hand, and we couldn't get them. Some good signs, though, in, in the side of yours. Uh, Habajan bowled very well in the first match. Did he stuff again today? Uh, he's a top-class bowler. He's been bowling well for the past seven, eight months since the time he's come back. Uh, he's, he's got all the capabilities of becoming a great off-spinner. But if he can't win, he can't chase 220 on these flat wickets, we're asking for trouble. So it gets back to the batsman. You, you obviously decided to try and do something a little different today by going down the order. The, uh, the strategy behind that? Yeah, I knew where, where Sri Lanka's strength lies. Uh, so probably I am, me and Rahul are the both, two most experienced guys in the team. So we wanted to bat where the, more, where the difficult time was and, and let the other boys play without any pressure. Right, so a bit of pressure on you chaps now. No points from two matches. Uh, you're really going to have to uh, pull out all the stops from now on in. Yeah, we got to win from now if we have to play the finals. we got to play better cricket. We can't, we can't lose chasing 220 on these flat wickets. A lot of people will be wishing you luck. Good luck in the next matches. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, a chair for the Indian captain, Saurav Ganguly. Right, uh, the winning captain gets uh, 1,500 US dollars, which he'll share with his team, no doubt. And uh, our chief guest, Mr. Anna Punshiewa, is going to make that presentation to Sana Chai Surya. Sanat Jai Surya uh, taking away the money today. Why you looked as if you were under a bit of pressure out there for a while. Uh, yes, it was because um, it was not enough runs on the board to defend on. I think all the bowlers and the fielders bowled really well and the field really well. And it was really team effort. And also, uh, thankfully today, a better pitch to play these one, this one-day match on? Yeah, it was very good wicket because uh, earlier on it, it, it didn't come that ball that much. But we, we got 221. Uh, I think, uh, once again, the bowlers bowled really well today and fielders, field, fielding was really good. You must have been very pleased with the way you performed when it really got down to the pressure situation at the end there. Those last five overs with almost a runner ball available, good players at the, uh, at the crease, not easy? Yeah, it, it was not easy because um, we got experienced bowlers like Murali, Kumar Dharmasena, and uh, I came and bowled the 49th. So I think we had the experienced bowlers to bowl on the last five overs. And because of that, I think we were managed to win this game. Right, well, very well done today. You batted well, you bowled well, you fielded well, and you've taken the points. Congratulations. Thank you. The captain of Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen. Right, uh, this is a tough one. The man of the match. Who are we going to give the man of the match to? 
The, uh, the, uh, so the man of the match has been selected by the WSG Nimbus commentators. We had to think long and hard about it, and it is with pleasure that we call up Suresh Pereira. <laughs> Mr. NED Vijay Gunawadara from Coca-Cola will make the presentation of 500 US dollars. Righto, Sharesh, over here you come. Congratulations today. We saw that smile on your face uh, as you took the catches and took some wickets and made the runs. You obviously enjoyed the match. Yeah, very much. What about the support you got from the senior players? Yeah, they, got, they support me a lot because, I mean, I'm not bowling well. They support me a lot, and especially Sanat, they encourage me a lot. Right. Uh, um, now, obviously, with getting, with getting runs and getting wickets, it's, it's, it's obviously good fun playing at this level. Uh, where do you find it hardest? Where's the real pressure, batting or bowling? I think it's bowling. I, think I, I enjoy my bowl, batting a lot. I think the uh, hardest thing is bowling. Hardest thing is bowling, and really, that was what you were picked in the side for. So you must have got some real pleasure out of that today. Yeah, a lot. Right, well, you've done really well. We're just watching some of your, uh, some wickets and some runs. Congratulations, and very, very well played. Well done. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Shuresh Pereira, the man of the match and a very happy...